Okay, hi. So um, in continuation with the Hong Kong theme, the next recipe that I'll be making for you is a rice noodle roll covered in peanut butter and hoisin sauce. I know it sounds strange, but that kind of creamy combination along with the savoriness and the sweetness of the hoisin sauce is like, you will be so addicted to it. Normally, or I guess not normally, but uh, sometimes people will make the rice noodle rolls from scratch and it's super easy to do. And what we've done that before, I'll put a link um, above for you all. But what you also can do, if you have an Asian supermarket, you can go, you can get the rice noodle rolls fresh. Uh, sometimes they'll have um, scallions or um, the little like uh, baby dried shrimp with it. If you're a vegan, you don't have to get that. You can just get the plain one. Or if you're not near an Asian grocery store, you know, just go to your local grocery store, get rice noodles, dried rice noodles, you know, cook them, prepare them as normal, and then use that as your base. And then we'll, you know, I'll show you how to do the sauce and then we'll douse it all over and uh, super, super addictive. So I hope you all enjoy. So this recipe is really a put together type recipe. We're gonna make, you know, the noodles, the toppings, the sauce, and then just put it all together uh, in the end. So I managed to get some fresh ones from the store. They kind of get hard in the refrigerator. So you just wanna steam them for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. You leave it in there a little longer, it's okay. Uh, that gives us time to prepare the rest of our ingredients. So remember I told you in the beginning how sometimes the noodle rolls have the dried baby shrimp in it? Well, that provides a nice crunch, but also like a nice burst of saltiness uh, in the original recipe. So what I thought we could use easily to mimic that is to just get some store-bought um, faux bacon. Okay. And so I just toasted it a little bit, not even with oil. Uh, you can keep it actually pretty dry and I'm just going to chop it up until I get little bacon bits. And then same thing goes for a little bit of toasted sesame seeds in the end. Mm, provides a really nice crunch in a dish that is a little bit on the softer side. So that was obviously a little bit of spring onion, and now we are going to make the first of our two sauces. So the first one up is the peanut butter sauce, and with about, I'd say a healthy one to two tablespoons of peanut butter, I would mix with about four to five tablespoons of water, and that's just to thin it out. And the technique here is to just add a little bit of water at the beginning, boiling water, and then you get the peanut butter used to the water, the fat with the water, and you thin it out and you get it smooth first, and then you add in a little bit more water as you go. And what you'll end up getting is like a really spreadable, you know, pipeable uh, sauce. So something, uh, something like this, and it still has a ton of peanut butter flavor. Now, the second one is your hoisin sauce, and I've showed you how to make hoisin sauce from scratch before, but you can also get it from the grocery store. So I'd say about one and a half, one and a half, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce here, and then you mix it with about one teaspoon of a light soy. And because both of those flavors are actually quite strong, I mix it sometimes with about like one tablespoon, one to two tablespoons of water, just to thin out the mixture, but then also to thin out that like really heavy, salty and sweet flavor of hoisin sauce, okay? So now you have everything done and after about 15 minutes, these noodles also get quite soft. So you're all ready for assembly.
Now, I might be a little bit of a pig here, but um, I would say err on the side of more sauce. Like if you're gonna make it add more sauce, put more of this on. Um, each of the ingredients in this recipe makes such a big difference, like the crunchiness and the, and, and the aroma from the sesame seeds, and then the little bit of salt from the bacon bits, and like the creamy peanut butter. It, it makes this recipe. And you know, I have a tendency to say a lot of things are good, but this is great. This is fabulous. So, so addictive. So I hope you all um, enjoy.